today we're interviewing two very special guests. Our president, Johnny, and our vice president, Brian. Hi Johnny and hi Brian. Thanks for coming down today. Um, has the school year been kind to you guys so far? Alright, so actually I think the school year has been going decently well for me so far. I mean, besides the rather hectic campaigning season when I actually had a lot of stuff to do, and even after the campaign system, uh, uh, campaign season, right now I'll be going to about doing a lot of things that most presidents do, such as writing speeches, preparing for events, so I'll say that I guess it has been okay. I think for me as well, like, um, as we all know, SEC4 is not an easy year for most Wakong students. Um, for me, I'm currently, um, I have my plate full with things like my CC debates, um, we have an upcoming competition next week. Furthermore, on top of that, I'm also working on an SL project, and that has taken up a bulk of my time. So I guess um, it's going to be quite hard, juggling both council as well as our respective commitments. But I think with the help of the rest of the student foundation, as well as the policy HSC, we can definitely make it work. Okay guys, let's talk, a bit, let's talk a bit about the campaign. Did you guys expect the elections to turn out the way? Mm, okay, I guess I'll go first. Um, well, I'll say that it has been a pretty close election, I would say. Mm, throughout the course of the campaign, I actually had many different times where I think whether I was going to win or not. So, I guess from the beginning, ever since I conceptualized my idea of having an online portal and cash payment system, I thought these ideas would be going to be pretty well received by the student population. So, I, was, I could say I was a bit confident about my chances. And I guess the next turning point for my thoughts are actually after I created my social media page. I created first a Facebook page, and then after a week, I found out that Brian has already created his also. And I just had to go to Brian's page, look at his follower count, and I was, and then I was like, oh no, I, th I think my chances are like, non. <laughs> yeah, yeah it, was, it was quite sad. But I think after that, I also created my own Instagram page. And it then moved on to like the first time I go on stage for the uh, presentations. And I felt that the response to my ideas were like, quite well received. And most people seemed quite happy, they were quite engaged. And I thought, hmm, maybe, maybe I didn't have a chance after all. But then when Brian went up, it seems that response was also quite well for him. So it became as a as a um, campaign went on, I think it became really, really close. So by the end of it, I also wasn't really sure who was going to win. I think it was a 50-50 chance. And when in the end it turns out the vote was for me, yeah, I guess I was quite pleasantly surprised. I think for me, um, when I first signed up to run as for, uh, for the for the for the post of the Polity High School Council President, I really knew that there was going to be a chance that I would lose and I was really mentally prepared for that. I was, um, whatever Johnny has said is completely true. I think that the campaigning was really um, intense and competitive. I think for me, um, I think what's most important, honestly, is um, the fact that we both work well together. I think I've mentioned this before like, when I was talking to you guys uh, during the consultant, like, during, during the level of assemblies. But aside from that, I really said that regardless of who wins, I believe that both of us will continue working together for the betterment of like, your welfare and that HSC will continue to continue to serve the student population. Yeah. So that's right, regardless of the election results, we always will, two of us will be working close with each other to make sure we can bring as much welfare as we can to your lives. That's very sweet. Uh, is there anything you guys would like to say to your supporters, considering the election is over? I'll say that really I will a big thank you to everyone who has supported me so far. I wouldn't, I, honestly, I wouldn't have thought that I would have gotten this far without really the help of all my friends, but people who actually not just helped me my campaign, and also always gave me support throughout the course of my campaign. And like, whenever walking by down the school, school grounds, hearing people say, vote for Johnny, and then equal amounts of vote for Brian, I guess it does give you some sort of a boost. Yeah. I think for me, um, to those of you who have voted for me, thank you very much for supporting me all the way. Honestly, don't fret, because currently as Vice Chairman, I will also be working very um, heavily with, special, with the special committee to bring you guys a better CSM, so you guys can look forward to that. Alright guys, regardless of the differences between your campaigns and the close fight that you had, the two of you are now united at the helm of the HSC. So how will you guys work together to combine the best elements of your plans and cater to the post student population regardless of who they voted for? Mm, well, okay, I guess I'll just say for this. So personally, I feel that the various initiatives raised by Brian and I throughout the campaign hasn't really been that incompatible with each other. I think the only difference that we had is really regarding the J Tiger or welfare shop where my idea was really to replace a shop with a new, a new platform, the online a HSC portal where you can actually um, 
all their stuff online. Whereas Brian's idea was actually to revive it and actually sell more sort of food items. And, well, regarding that one, we heard your votes, and I guess we'll be moving on first with maybe just pushing out the online portal instead. But as for the rest of the initiative raised by Brian and I, as for my cash payment system, of course we'll still be going along with that. And for Brian's small combines, combined sports lead, which I myself also like, we'll also definitely be going along with that. And for the service learning summit, well Brian? I think uh, for the service learning summit, it is actually going to take flight. Um, this is going to be a joint partnership between SL Council and HSC, so you can look forward to that. We will still be uh, proceeding as um, what we have planned. And the way we're going, it's going to work is that we can both Push more or push out all the initiatives we have like suggested in the initiative, and we hope that you can expect more and see the new change that will bring to our job. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> Alright, guys. A question on behalf of all our readers who are not counselors at the moment, but do have a strong drive to serve the school. <coughs> so, considering that the both of you have had extensive council experience, in fact, you were both part of the ex cos of your consulting councils, and this was also the case for last year's election, which was contested between Sean from the I Council and we are from the Autos Council. What would you say to the non councillors in the school? Is it possible for someone without prior experience in council to take up senior agency positions, for example? Are there any challenges? Is it achievable? I think regarding this, um, it is actually quite a fact that many of you have, uh, we've heard concerns from the student population that the HSC is mainly filled with people who have already prior council experience. Um, Majority and I, I believe that we don't we disagree with this. We believe that honestly, the HSC will accept anyone who shows that he's capable of working as a team, who shows that he's able to organize events and work well with one another. I think that if you are looking for key examples of this, um, look at Han Jia Hao, who was our previous uh, uh, high school council treasurer. He was not a counselor, and yet he still managed to become um, the 44th high school council ex school. Um, if you look two years back, Joel Tan, who ran for the um, 45th, 43rd, high, 43rd High School Council President, he, he too did not have any prior council experience. So, the thing about council is that we want to see what we can do, and that's why there is a correlation between the number of the, uh, the number of people who have prior council experience and people in uh, high school council, because we have seen how they are able to show off like, their leadership capabilities in the various events they organize. But don't fret because you can always uh, participate in activities such as uh, SLC and we can um, scout for people there as well. Yeah. So also another noticeable, noticeable example that Brian had forgot is actually even this year in our excavation, um, our publicity head is Nicholas Tan and he himself also did not have any council experience yet right now he's also more of an exco and about key members working together in our team. For all those non councillors I would say that even if you are, for some reason, unable to join council, I think there's still many other leadership opportunities in our job. So even besides um, council events, uh, besides council itself, besides SLC, there are also a key area of leadership is also in your CCAs, which I believe that, uh, I'm probably sure that most of you might be more, uh, it might be easier for you guys to get leadership positions in these areas. And I'm sure that some of you might also prefer working with your CCA because Okay, leading your CCA is leading people that you actually work with for a few years and really feel bored with them and we want to lead them, we really want to work for their welfare. So CCA is actually another one of the areas where you can actually develop your own leadership skills and powers. But outside of CCA, there's also project work. For instance, take care of your SL project as one of the core members. It's also a way to train your leadership, organizational skills, and to organize events. And all these um, even all these uh, things that you could do here in Bajong can actually help you develop your leadership. And council is really not the only one. Alright guys, so I've been asking them a lot of questions so far, but maybe to our viewers they might want to know what questions you guys actually have for each other. So are there any questions that you know you might be interested in asking each other as of, at this point? Mm. Okay, I guess I'll ask one first. So Brian, are you satisfied with the election outcomes? Um I think that it would be a lie to say that I wasn't disappointed, but I think that moving forward, what's more important is how I can work well with Johnny and how we can bring Hwachong to the guys. I think I've mentioned this before in like my assembly presentations, but honestly, at the end of the day, both Johnny and I were not in here for council just to I don't know, win president or be like have some title. But at the end of the day, council is really about service to the school and organizing events and going through this entire experience with our team and learning from them. So I yeah, I would say that I am satisfied. But Johnny, um, now that like after secondary four council, right? Do you plan on moving on and going to JC council? Mm, this is an interesting question. <laughs> I haven't really had much time to consider it, but 
I don't know. Right now, I'm trying to keep my options open for JC because right now it's like um, in secondary four, I'm doing quite a lot of council work. And depending by end of the year, I'll see whether I really want to continue on because I know JC council is, a, is also requires much more commitment because it's actually an entire CC by itself. Mm. So I'm thinking because you know my other interest is in scientific research and JC council do have a science research student council. So perhaps I might be still doing council but a different type of council. Okay, finally, a very important question that I'm sure all of you want to know about. Brian, Johnny, who did you guys vote for? So, for <laughs> me, I avoided my vote. Yeah. Uh, this might sound very bad, but I voted for myself. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, I don't know what you guys are thinking right now, okay? I must be some sort of narcissist or think myself, but no, 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 okay, okay. This is a. So, first of all, I wasn't. I like, I like Brian. I wasn't allowed to vote my vote. So, because of student council in charge of my class, I said no voting on votes. And then I was thinking about voting for Brian, but then I also thought, what happened if there is a decided vote? Okay, okay, I got the chance to swim, but then, like, it, when you're in that sort of situation, if. Um, okay, okay, why not? Obviously, you vote for myself. Brian, um, now that you know Johnny didn't vote for you or didn't vote his vote as you did so gallantly, uh, if given a chance, would you have voted for yourself? Uh, no, I wouldn't have voted for myself. Why? 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 Because yeah. honestly, it wouldn't have been the day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'm sure Johnny feels pretty bad about himself right now, but I think we've learned quite a lot from this interview, so I'd like to thank very sincerely our presenters, Johnny and Brian. Um, and once again, thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this interview. Thank you, thank you.